Welcome to Gunner Speaks again. You are tuned in to the Gunner, Gunner, Gunner show, man. Swag Cash, you heard? Gunner Swag Cash. Today's episode is basically about. We're just gonna pick up from where we left off at, you know what I mean? We left off with the, Cam, the Kevin Samuels uh, analysis. Um, if you caught that one, you know, go check that one out if you didn't, you know. Uh, we're just gonna pick it back up. With some more, of, some more of this conversation, I think this is very important for our own communities. I think it's important that with, um, black women and black men get back together and, and start to unite a little bit more, more so than the separation and everything that we talked about before. But um, we just gonna jump into it right here from where we at. We just gonna listen in and see what she's talking about, and we will get some opinions back about that. All right? Peace. Hold on. We're not gonna play. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Just play listen, y'all. Okay. Did it go to a clinician or did it go to the church? The church won't stop it. It's not that. Talk about therapy. Do black women go to the church for therapy or do y'all go to actual physicians and therapists and people that, you know, know? Professionals. All right, and these are educated cops. Most of these women are educated. And they've heard about therapy. They make the choice not to go. No different than, I'm going to switch it up, no different than women understanding here that being 200 pounds and 5 foot tall is unhealthy. But yet 80% of our women are overweight and 80% of that is obese. They know the truth. They choose to do something else. The narrative pushed to us most often is that a guy wants a woman with a big ass. He wants, you know, a thick leg with a thick ass. We always push that narrative. Accountability is kryptonite to modern women. Man, I said... Y'all heard what you said? Accountability is kryptonite to the mind day women. Do y'all agree with that? Leave that down in the comments. If y'all agree with that, y'all disagree, leave that down in the comments, man. Interested in hearing what y'all got to say about that. Have a special victim status. I'm not saying we should have a special victim status, but our circumstance is different. We are women. Uh, uh, is your, is your second we are less You're 24 years old. Is just she said we are women. We feel... We are less logical. She actually said that out her own mouth. See, but men be sitting around guessing this shit, trying to figure out this shit. But she actually admitted it. Without even knowing. This is a her subconscious talk. More so than her conscious. She gonna realize what she said after that. Watch, people. Just circumstance. Bring it back a little bit so y'all can hear exactly what she said. Functioning people in society contributing. You don't get to walk and around and say, you don't get to walk around and say, have a special victim status. I'm not saying we should have a special victim status, but our circumstance is different. We are women. Uh, it's just, it's just we are less logical. We're 24 years old. It's just a circumstance. 24 years old, she's talking like And your grandmother and your great grandmother. Who taught her this, man? Exponentially easier. We have right. access it's to information great. we didn't have. Exponentially have. easier, but you're handling it worse. Your grandmother, your great grandmother, actually work with a black man with more trauma. Because they understood that the black woman and the black man are on the same side. Now that we are all free and Listen independent, to and to, we can do whatever we want to. Why would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We, we didn't you. think that being. Thank you. Thank you. I heard that. Thank you. She said, being that black women is more successful, y'all got more opportunities and this type of stuff. Why would y'all want to unite with a black man? This is coming out of a 24 year old black woman's mouth. So when we generalize black men, men, when we generalize black, us black men generalize women and say that, you know, uh, y'all be bugging with some of this narrative that y'all be kicking, this is some of the stuff that we talking about. And this is not bashing. This ain't no, you know, a female bash here. You know, we love women. We ain't going to, you know, do that, but. We just, you know, explain to the narrative that's going on here. Let's tune back in. Clip it, slice it, put it on World Star. She said, "Let's hear what the fuck she said again." He about to repeat it, but why it. would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We we didn't you. think that being. Thank you, thank you. Y'all heard thank that? You. Clip it. Don't be mad at no man when you talk about this stuff. She said it, not me. Because a lot of now women are kicking the shit. You know, real life. Hurt. There you go. There you go. No cap. There, and there you go. And there you go. There you go, black man. There it is. She finally, finally got one to say it. 
build your businesses with your, us. Your grandmothers, your, your grandmothers, and your grandmothers, and your great grandmothers. Now she's trying more to be trauma, And more stress and get it better. They have exponentially less and are handling it worse. But it's because they're free and can do what the hell they want to. They don't need to be with you. So you don't need to feel any guilt for taking care of you. For putting yourself first and making your passion, your purpose, your priority. You don't need to feel guilty because this 24-year-old woman just said it. They have no right. They don't feel any guilt. So y'all heard that? So being that women to get more opportunities and have more access to things that they never had before in which they needed a man as a supplement for at one time or another. Even to this day, they still need to use us as a supplement for some of these things. But once they get it their own, they looking for a nigga to level up with. They ain't looking to deal with you, regular Joe Schmo anymore. Now she too good for you. Now she talking down on you, you know? That's why it's important that black men have their own, they getting into their proper positions. Because once they, the black man gets in the proper position, no longer under the threshold of a black woman, the way that we are these, you know, these last two, three generations, I would say, I say two, guaranteed two. But black men, we've probably been a little bit more offset by some of the, uh, the systematics. So once we get back in our right spots and our right positions, I think it'll be a, a game changer in terms of the respect level, in terms of the... Uh, the care, in terms of the, the acknowledgement of the, the, the necessity to have a black man or just a man, period, in their life, you know? So, this is what this was about, you know? And this is it's pretty deep, y'all. I think y'all should, should consider some of the stuff that's being said. If this ever happened to y'all, what would y'all think in your household? How would y'all address that? If you ever thought something like that, how would you address that? You know? And, again, this is not a... A female badge. This is basically just trying to get an understanding from a male's perspective in terms of what women really think of the men that they so much ask for and say that they, they want but claim that they don't need. So, are men necessary in the households? Do y'all really need us? Or do y'all just use us for whatever y'all can get so y'all can get to the next level of life? It's a question. Leave that down in the comments if y'all y'all agree, disagree. I don't know. I'm neutral in this, y'all. I'm just, you know, I'm just broadcasting. Swag casting. You know what I mean? Pawn the sirens and all that. You know? Somebody, somebody gotta get saved. There's lives being saved out there in the world right now. You know? But uh, tune in, man. We're gonna be trying to do this every weekend. Mostly, you know, throughout the week. Probably three Three times out the week, we'll be doing a swag cast. You know what I mean? Gonna speak swag cast. And that's how we're gonna be doing that. So just keep tuned in. We're gonna be uh, updating more footage and a lot more videos. And we'll have a lot more topics. There's gonna be a lot of original topics. A lot of uh, some of the topics that some of the other YouTubers, you know, talk about. Because I like some of the other guys. You know what I mean? Shout out to Hassan Campbell. I watch a lot of Hassan Campbell. Kevin Samuels again. Uh, I watch MREC TV, MREC, my boy Flip, I mean, shout out to Flip TV, Flip the Script TV, he got a lot of energy, funny guy, very necessary type individual, you know what I mean? A lot of these guys is, in the, you know, necessary in this, in this equation, you know? So, I hope y'all continue to tune in to the swag cast, not the podcast, but the swag cast, Gunner Speaks, I mean, live and in color, and while you at it, go get your chalet, then... The boss T-shirt from Swaganese brand, Swaganese.com. That's www.swaganese.com. Swaganese.com. First one with it. Don't forget it. Yeah, I did it. Go get you some. Swaganese brand on IG. Swaganese brand on Facebook. Go check us out if y'all need some wardrobe, some some good drip, some good gear. You know what I mean, stay tuned for more. Gonna speak swag cats. Peace.